Luke Vin here. Um, I got a lot of questions on this clock here I had on my screen. That's called Geek Tool. It's a free um, prep paint you can download from the internet. Uh, let's just search it up on Google. I'll show you how to get it. So just search Geek Tool Mac and um, you get a bunch of links here. I don't think it has actually has an official page, so just get it from Version Tracker because I know that's legit and you won't get like any malicious software. Just download it from there, and once you've got it on your desktop, uh, once you've got it, you're gonna have to double click on the Pref Paint. It's gonna be in your downloads folder, and that'll ask you to then install it into your system preferences. Put your password in. Once it's installed, it's gonna be right here in your Pref Paint, in your preferences. I mean, and then you click on it, and it's gonna look like something like this. It's gonna have here something like console. Don't worry about that. You can rename everything. It's not gonna like mess up your computer or anything or geek tool. So what you do is you click on the, um, what's it called thing, on the left, and click on what kind of action you want to do. If you want to get a refreshing picture, if you want to run a file every time you launch Geek Tool, or if you want to run a command or shell. And it, Geek Tool is uh, it's more advanced. It's, it's like an advanced dashboard. It lets you run widgets on your desktop, or quote-unquote widgets. Um, but you have you have to know what to tell you have to tell it what to do, and you do do that through commands through shells. Um, you can find these commands on pretty much any Mac forum. So just go to Google, you know, search uh, Mac forums, and you'll get you know typical Mac forums online. And here, you just search, and you put you know. You know, and I'm not gonna take the time to do this because it has a stupid image verification. But I've used these forms before; they're pretty good. Anyway, that's pretty much Geek Tool. Um, it can do a lot of st cool stuff too. Like if if you have a um, a weather report you see every day on the web on a website and it happens to be a picture, you just you, ju you just click on picture and copy the image URL and put it into Geek Tool. And every every refresh period that you set it to, it'll refresh the image. For example, er in Geek Tool, everything's in seconds. So my clock refreshes every minute. You can set the weather to refresh every day, every week, however you want it. And that's pretty much Geek Tool, geek tool for you.